one fitting drink to toast the team with in development for just about four weeks. And the man behind that beer, Nick Gostopchik, head brewer for Porchlight, with me now live to introduce us all to Illuminate. Nick, good morning. Good morning, Cecilia. Good to talk to you. Yes. Uh, so, yes. yeah, we have Larry and I have gone ahead and poured out a little bit of this Illuminate the Laser we just came out with. Uh, <laughs> double, hi double Hazy IPA. Double um, Hazy. Yeah, we just came out with this. Uh, it's 7.4%, so it kind of leans just over the technically double line of 7%, but nothing too big and crazy. Still want, obviously, people to make it through all four quarters and mm -hmm. still have a good time. <laughs> um, but essentially, we took our, our flagship laser blowfish and just kind of doubled down on it. We obviously talked about the pandemonium of the kings and everything going on and the beam being lit so many times this year. We thought, what can we do? And we were like, well, we have, you know, this... Zeppelin-like blowfish kind of already wreaking havoc on downtown Sacramento. We thought, nice. what about if we <laughs> plug the Golden One Center into it, uh -huh. made the beam purple, and just kind of had some fun with, you know, something that we had already created. Um, and the beer is, I'd say, pretty perfect. Mm -hmm, of course. I'm going to ask you, um, for everybody who may not be, you know, a beer connoisseur, you say it's a double hazy IPA. Kind of describe for us what that is and what sort of notes about this beer that a true connoisseur will notice in the glass. Sure. So um, starting from the top, double basically is just implying that, you know, it's a higher ABV. 7% has kind of become in a not totally nailed down world of what's a double, what's a imperial, um, that 7% is pretty much the standard for if you say a double, you know you're not getting a light beer. Okay. Um, hazy um, being the newer kind of style of, you know, taking what was the West Coast IPA, very crisp, clean, piney, um, and kind of taking a different approach to the way that the hops are utilized and having it be more fluffy, more soft and juicy. Oh. Um, which makes it a bit more approachable to a different kind of uh, uh, crowd, but they each have their own things. Um, and they're, uh, so the IPA obviously also then just, you know, that it does have quite a bit of floral and hops and juiciness kind of going on to it. So Sounds pretty uh, good. this one specifically, um, we use ca uh, Citra, Cashmere, Idaho Gem, and Mandarina Bavaria. All together, you get a lot of citrus mostly grapefruit. Um, I also get like a bit of stone fruit, like apricot and peach. Mm -hmm. um, those are the main things, but I'm sure a lot of people you can look on untapped and see all the notes that they're getting from it. Right. And you know, it's somewhere a little bit of everything. So. Okay. So Nick, I have to ask you, Illuminate has only been available to the sipping public since last Friday. What kind of reaction are you getting to it? Uh, I would say it's the kind of reaction that makes you really happy as a brewer. A <laughs> um, friend of mine once said it's really fun to make beer, but it's a whole different thing to be able to sell quite a bit of it. Um, and this beer is one that we, um, we, it's one of those we wish we had made more. Um, obviously, we're going to get Laser Blowfish and some other of our staples back out for the rest of the playoffs. Um, but we had, it, I believe, it was about... 85% of these beers were sold before we even packaged it. Whoa. So um, we've got a lot of it has already gone out to, um, you know, a lot of the our typical markets, the, the SAC co-ops, the Cordy Brothers, the mm -hmm. uh, Curtis Park markets, as well as Rayleigh's, Fair Oaks took a bunch, Total Wine's getting a lot. Um, but we have a lot of, obviously, restaurants, bars, too, that are getting ready for, you know, yes. a big playoff weekend yes. that have already jumped on. Some have them pouring already. Some will be pouring this weekend. So... Uh, hopefully we get a lot more of that untapped ding starting to light up with people telling us what they think about it. So Wonderful. So sounds like you might sell out of this batch. Now, even when the playoffs are over, any hope that there will be any more Illuminate? Will you make another batch? It's, uh, I think it's spoken for itself in the way of one of these that we're going to have to bring back. Yeah, the ah. market <laughs> has told us uh, we, we like this. So and now, like I said, it's the exciting part of seeing how much they like it once it's actually in their hands for a couple times and say like this is my new i want this all the time beer so but no it'll definitely be back um we'd like to see if maybe we can get one more round in there uh with you know hopefully the king's playing for another month maybe would be Ooh, great i like what you're um, saying but obviously like i said we'll have a lot of our other offerings last friday we also released uh this new rice lager the denim kimono, uh, just great for warmer weather, sitting on the patio as we start getting to the river in our swim hole spots. <laughs> and then also a fruited sour with passion fruit, caracara orange, pink guava, and sea salt. 
Wow. Um, so just some of the other things that, you know, we're putting them into as we finally have broken into a Sacramento spring a bit officially. So. Yes, officially, and people will be illuminated this weekend, drinking your new taste, celebrating the Kings, and hopefully, as you just said, I'm going to say you made the prediction with the Kings playing for another month. All of our fingers are crossed for that. Thank you so much, Nick, from Porchlight, sharing the new Illuminate beer, Absolutely. lighting up the beam in your glass for the Kings and the playoffs. We appreciate you. Thanks so much. Absolutely. My pleasure.